Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Computer Science and Engineering Workshop. This is your host, Deca Harman, speaking. And today, in this video, we will be beginning a series called HTML and CSS Basics. So, in this series, what we aim to do, as the name suggests, is to learn about HTML and CSS, and hopefully, in the end of this series, we will be able to write web documents using HTML and CSS. So, without further ado, Let's jump straight in. So before we start talking about the history of HTML, what exactly is HTML? So HTML is the short for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the standard markup language that we use to write web documents. Uh, so when you open, say for example, Google, it's written with HTML, uh, Netflix, HTML, your personal blog, HTML, so the thing you should know about HTML is that it is not a programming language. Don't forget this. It is not a programming language. It is a markup language designed to write web documents. Let's move on. So the man you're seeing right here, British physicist and computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee, the man who developed the first HTML standards and also the World Wide Web standard. That then again it's a story for another video. So let's continue with HTML. So when he was working at Central European Nuclear Research Center, uh, he developed HTML as a standard for web documents as we talked in the previous parts of the video. Uh, since 1993, we had five major revisions, and uh, each major revision providing an upgrade over the previous one. So let's now move on to the history of CSS. So the man you're seeing on the left side of your screen Håkon Wiumli is the man who developed the cascading style sheets standard. He is also the CTO of Opera Corporation, you know, the Opera browser. Then again, it doesn't really have much to do with what we want to do today. So in 1994, this man developed and proposed the cascading style sheets standard at the World Wide Web Consortium, also known as the W3C. So it was accepted as a standard in 1996, and since 1996 we had three major revisions. Uh, today we're using CSS3. Now I, I believe in either 2018 or 2019 there was a CSS4 which was proposed. Then again, it was um, not, it is not a widely accepted standard, hence why we're still using CSS3 today. So this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. In the next video, we will be taking a look at the basic structure of an HTML file, and then we're going to be learning about some HTML elements. And lastly, we're going to be getting our hands dirty by writing some HTML. So see you guys later. This is Deca Harman, your host, and have a nice day.